Welcome to Explain It Like I'm Five, Line Numbers on Documents. Hey, I'm Eric, and a recurring theme, a recurring question in the world of Business Central, in the world of NAV and Navision, um, is the way we do line numbers on documents. That could be a sales order, a purchase, invoice, uh, anything, or it could also just be a journal. Everything has line numbers. As soon as you have, you're typing in lines, there seem to are line numbers. And um, I often see uh, people when they come from other platforms and look at line numbers and say, huh, well, I guess the first line number, depending on what the preference is, is, the first line number has to be number zero or one, and then, you know, increment so the next one is two and and so on but that is not how actually how it works it, that seems to work but it might actually add issues down the road um, and let's just try to take a look at it on how it actually works so you can make sure that you do line numbers right when you're creating documents um, so here's my business central and um, let's create a just to do something else, let's create a payment journal. How about that? Let's see if there's any data in my payment journal here. Um, that's fine. So what I'm going to do here, let's see if we can get this to work. Uh, so I will turn on the page inspect store and I will make sure that the line number field is here and we can see that now I am in general journal line and this is part of the primary key so if we go back and then we take a look at let's see, let me close it all go to the symbols I'll find the base app and I will find table and remember you can actually get the table number out of the page inspection for this case this is table 81 and let's go to keys so we can see that the primary key so the first key listed is always the primary key does you know if you can name this one pk or primary whatever the first one listed that is the primary key and we can see that the last entry the last field in the in the primary key is called line number and if we go up and look we can see line number is here and line number is an integer um, and if we then go back, just go back here for a second, and then I find the the payment journal page two fifty six. We can see that the payment journal page has the auto split key set to true. So the auto split key is a specific special property let's see if there's any help here that's probably not you. but so if the last field in the key the, in the primary key is an integer i don't know if this works with big ends actually but it works with integer anyway so if the last um the the last field in the key is an integer then what you what you're about to see will be triggered and let, let's go back here so i have a line but i don't actually have a line yet because we are not inserted so if i put the cursor and start typing so far i haven't really done anything um but i can as you see now i type a vendor uh, and I'm still nothing here, so we can we can go on, and let's just do a hundred, and then the GL account. That's probably fine. I would go down to the next line. If we go back to the first one, so now we can see that this line got line number ten thousand. Um, so let's do another one. So I'll go back down here and start typing i get all the default fields i'll type something else uh, and 
now I'm typing a account number that looks. So, let's actually type something else. Sorry, that was uh, maybe forty thousand uh, and two hundred. And in this case, now I'm just gonna hit a five instead to refresh. And you can see now this line is now number number twenty thousand. So we have two lines, ten thousand and twenty thousand. Remember, it's the the property we have here is called auto split key. So let's say that now I want to add another line between those two. So I hit Alt N in this case to create a new line between them. Uh, and we'll do vendor number 50,000. I'll just do a five again. And now you can see that this now is 15,000. So what Business Central did was saying that the line before was 10, the line after was 20. So you will get this one will get line number 50,000. So I can do this again. So I hit Alt N and I type another account number here. I hit a 5, 1250. Let's do this again. 11,250, we can keep going. Let's see how far we can get. Um, so now we are at uh, 10,312, um, and we keep going here, keep going, uh, keep going. A five. So now this one is 10,000. This is 10, uh, 10,039, 10,078, 10,156. Let's do a couple of more old ends here. Um, oh, hang on. Now I did something. No, I do not. Um, I just want to type. Uh, let's see where we're at now. So you, you can see that what is slowly happening is that we're running out of numbers. So I will do, oops, I just type away here. 10,000 again, and now I am on 10,002. And oh, then, because the last one we had here was 10,001, so I, I I try to insert another line and then I get the, not very often, see, I, I'm gonna say famous, but it's in reality, this is not a famous error because it's very, not very often people actually get it. The line cannot be split because there is no longer room between 10,001 and 10,000 to insert another line. So we managed to insert here, where, where do we have the line with 20,000? There's this one. So we have insert 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lines here. Uh, because we exhausted the the half uh, half space uh, in, in only in, in one side of things. There's still plenty of room to insert lines all over the place here, but just not no longer between these two. Um, so that is the main reason that Business Central and before that Dynamics Nav and before that Navision and before that Navigator going back to 30 years ago um, is adding 10,000 between each lines. Um, so then the, the, the great question you may ask is, but hey, Eric, if I create a sales order and then I post it, does it matter because I, I create all the encode, I create all the lines? And yes, it do matter because then your line numbers with one, two, three, four, five, or zero, one, two, three, but depending on what offset you like, well, that gets true to the posted document. But what if somebody needs to manually create a... Um, a credit memo of your posted 
uh, cells and walls. And then need to, you know, edit the credit memory insert line and stuff like that. Then suddenly a user out of nowhere will, uh, not that was not the, uh, okay, hang on, will get, I was trying to be clever here and, and open up the payment journal here and do alt N. And then users will get this one without really understanding what is happening. Um, so that is the reason that you want to increment with um, with ten thousand. If uh, and and the ten thousand thing is is a code thing. So if we go back here and we look at the uh, table eighty one again, and we search for ten thousand in the code, we can see that hey, this is just super super hard coded. Uh, um but i have seen examples where you, you know you were in a highly editing kind of situation where people did tons of stuff online and we figured out that we needed more room right so we we incremented with the uh, with 100,000 instead the challenge with getting this too much is that there's still the 4 billion uh uh, max or two billion sorry it, this is introduced um signed introduce um so you cannot say okay let me increment with a uh, but then you could with a million if you only get a, a two thousand lines but but there are, you 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 can in, in in cases you can go bigger if if suddenly users are hitting this guy all the time uh, in, in in some of your objects so just go with 10,000. Uh, so whenever you want to touch the line number of your using this to in your own things, do 10,000 10, and you should be fine because then your, your software is behaving just like the rest of Business Central. Um, so we managed to get through a video without actually writing any code because we only talked about line numbers uh, and uh, I think there are, if you go look at this video, that might just be one where I actually create documents for line numbers or might be some other AL hacking. Go check it out. I'll see you there. Take care.